Welcome back to Turf Talk at DeRosa alongside Vance Hansen. It's the week after the much anticipated race. Vance, I thought it lived up to its billing and more importantly we had it right. Yes we did. Uh, it was the race both of us and maybe all of the racing world <laughs> wanted to see last November. Thankfully everybody got a clean start this time and shared belief proved that uh, He's slightly better than California Chrome now as a four-year-old. Yeah, I mean, my, I had a few takeaways. One, I mean, I definitely think he showed he's the better animal, you know, certainly under these conditions. Some questions remain for both, but uh, I still think with California Chrome second and it's so far back to the rest of the field, you know, to me, I don't want to say he lost nothing in defeat because the question was answered. He's not as good as shared belief, so he lost that. But he's still, to me, a potential superstar grade one animal. Oh, absolutely. California Chrome. I mean, the, the way he showed his high cruising speed in that race, I thought he was actually uh, was going the better of the two going around the far turn. I, I've noticed in a number of races of shared beliefs that uh, Mike Smith does have to get into him just a little bit before he uh, sets down. Uh, but yeah, California Chrome lost nothing in defeat. I thought he ran a really good race. Uh, We'll see what happens when he goes to Dubai uh, next month. Uh, that's always a tough under, <laughs> undertaking, to say the least. And uh, and we'll see uh, how long it takes for him to bounce back once he gets to the United States again. Yeah, it's a big ship. And, you know, this was a great two, $500,000 race. I mean, I think from the terms of who's better standpoint, it answered that question for now. Uh, but by no means open and shut for the rest of the year. I mean, there's races California Chrome I think will be targeting that are more prestigious than the one Shared Belief will be looking at. So there's still plenty of time for him to reverse the score. Oh, loads of time. And uh, we were having this discussion off camera a little <laughs> earlier. We thought I was arguing that we probably wouldn't see a Shared Belief uh, east of the Mississippi mm -hmm. River until the Breeders' Cup. It depends on, you know, how... Uh, the Hollendorfer and company manages uh, various foot problems, whether they're willing to ship so far outside of California, especially since they do have a lot of races to uh, uh, run in in Southern California, like the Santa Anita Handicap, the Gold Cup, the Pacific Classic, all natural targets for that horse. Sure. And I, I'm optimistic. I think there's a chance we could see him on Oaks weekend with the Ali Sheba. Hollendorfer shipped before. Uh, one thing we didn't talk about in that conversation you referenced is Jim Rome did send misdirection to the Just a Game on Belmont Day, which, you know, I'm not going to question someone who's won two Breeders' Cup races, but I kind of thought that wasn't the spot for them to reach out. But, you know, kudos to them for taking a shot. If they did it with her, maybe with shared belief we could see them elsewhere. But as you said, there's some big prizes in California. Yes. Uh, going back to misdirection, uh, she was very unlucky to catch a very soft turf course that mm -hmm. day. So. The, some th sometimes <laughs> things work out for the best and sometimes it yeah. doesn't. So uh, we'll see if uh, any other racetracks put up a bit more purse money. But right now uh, uh, the uh, purse money is still fairly even between the California prizes and what uh, Kentucky and New York are putting up. Right sure. So yeah, and we'll see. Mile and a quarter in those bigger races later in the year. So that's always sort of a, a distance people like to see from a championship perspective. Uh, we'll go out on the Don Handicap, uh, short, short change the grade one, but Constitution looking good in Florida as he did last year as well. Uh, is he one you think can compete with the top two we saw in California? I, I really don't think so, uh, just because uh, he, he, he's so, so far sh shown to be uh, more of a horse that loves Gulfstream Park than right. anything. Let's see him run a really, a really great race in New York or Kentucky, wherever he ends up this summer, and then we'll take it from there. Sure. All right. Well, a lot of good ones out there. We'll certainly be talking about them throughout the year, and we'll look forward to talking to you next week.